What happens when the kidnappers' getaway plans go wrong and the police intervene moments before it's too late? This guy was caught transporting six underaged kids. Officers pulled Jeremy Guthrie over for reckless driving. At first, Guthrie refused to stop his vehicle, but when he finally did, the officers on duty found something beyond horrifying in his car. Hey there. Hello. How are you? All right. Just all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Should you have license? Inside Guthrie's truck were six underage children. Okay, how old are you? 14. You all need to call your parents and have your parents meet, meet us here. When asked what his relations were with the kids, Guthrie said they were his friends. Guthrie was obviously driving under the influence, and when the officers asked him to step out of his vehicle, they noticed his pants were unzipped. Guthrie was later charged with DWI, driving while intoxicated, and six counts of child abuse. However, Guthrie hasn't been sentenced yet, but from the looks of things, he won't be a free man anytime soon. In July 2021, 40-year-old Robbie Wilt captured a little girl while she was playing on her home's porch. Luckily, a neighbor saw this and immediately informed the police. You might just grab a little girl. What kind of type of vehicle were they in? The police were able to locate Wilt before he could harm the child. Inside of that way, crafting all morning. Keep your mouth shut. Wilt was placed in handcuffs where he belonged, while another officer opened the back seat to rescue the scared little girl. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. During his hearing, Wilt apologized to the victim's family, but pleaded not guilty to any of the charges. He was sentenced to 13 years behind bars. On October 12, 2023, 23-year-old Chloe Jones innocently accepted a lift from a strange man. However, it turned out that this man, later identified as William Mazingo, had ulterior plans in mind. Mazingo drove Chloe hundreds of miles away from her home and locked her in a desolate garage for four days. No. Oh, no. William, come on now, hack the police! He starved her and beat her. Thanks to a neighbor who had alerted the police, Chloe was safely rescued from Mazingo and safely reunited with her family. Previous court records showed that Chloe wasn't Mazingo's first victim. However, it is satisfying to know that he is charged with felonious assault, kidnapping, and other serious charges that will keep him locked up for years. In 2017, Jack Morgan broke into his ex-girlfriend's house in Nevada and dragged her into his van before chaining the victim to the floorboard to prevent escape. Sorry. Like six times. I was in Las Vegas. He broke into my Las Vegas apartment and stole me from my home. But because of the noise she made while being abducted, neighbors were prompted to inform the police and a search party began. Police found a car that matched the neighbor's description, and inside the vehicle was Morgan, the kidnapped victim, and Samuel Brown, who identified as Sophia and accompanied Morgan to carry out his sinister plans. Jack bagged life in prison, while Sophia was sentenced to 63 months in prison. 